Welcome back to another DAX for Power BI video. If you're liking these quick Power BI and DAX tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a question that was asked by a subscriber. He was basically saying, how can you search text based on a string or a key from another table? So to put this in perspective here, I have two tables. One has our keys, basically our search strings that we're trying to find in the text of another table. So basically looking at these two keys, I want to see which of these text strings contain this, uh, basically this text value. So I have these text values of dog and quick. So I want to know if these text values contain dog or quick, I want to return something based on that. So it was more of a like technical problem, sounded like it has some business value, but to simplify it, I'm going to use some some dummy kind of values here. So to start off by doing this, let's create a calculated column. And I'm gonna call this uh, matched key. And I'm gonna set this equal to the search function. And the search function is really interesting because it allows you to take a key or a, a text value and be able to search within another text value and it will return the position in which it found that text value. So we are going to want to use the first non-blank of the key search string. And that takes two parameters, so comma one. And we're going to search within this text value of this current table. And then we don't need the optional parameter for start position. We do need a not found value. It's kind of surprising that if you don't actually include this not found value, it's going to error out and not work for any of the rows. So if we throw in a 999, that'll be if it doesn't find that key in this text string, then it returns a position of a 999. So that's going to end off our search. And we end up with a column like this. And let's see if it makes sense. So it's searching through these this value here, the quick brown, and it's looking for the first non-blank of the search string. And search string, the first non-blank is dog. So it makes sense that the matched key does not find dog in this quick brown, so it uh, returns a 999. It does find dog in 10, or in, uh, in position 10 of this text column, so it returns a 10. Similarly, dog is in all of these columns, or all of these rows, but it's not in the other, so we return a 999. So that's kind of how we start off here. But we also want to iterate through all of the keys. We don't just want the first one. So to do this, you can use uh, an X function, specifically the concatenate X function. Um, and concatenate is perfect because it allows us to pass in text and evaluate a, an expression using text. So if we come and try a concatenate X function on this key table, because we want to iterate through the keys and we are going to want to give it this expression, the same expression for the search, and go ahead and close off that concatenate x. And that changes our return quite a lot. So in order to understand what's going on here, we have to look at the output down here. So we see a 9995 for this first value. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it, because it's iterating through these two search keys. So when it's dog, and it's looking at this first row, that is the quick brown, it doesn't find dog, and it adds a 999. But then it goes through the key for quick and searches through and does find quick at position five, so it appends a five to 999. So you end up with a 9995. So instead of a 999, let's go ahead and return, um, let's actually make this an if statement. So if it doesn't find, we're going to have to return a blank instead of this 999. So in order to do that, we're gonna say if, and the search, is going to be our search criteria or if criteria. So if this doesn't return a 999, as in it returns an actual starting position of the string, we're going to want to return that key, that search string. If not, we're gonna to want to return blank. So that in, uh, leaves us with something like this. So it finds quick in this, the quick brown fox, and it finds dog where there is a dog in this text. It even finds dog quick here. Um, so it found both keys in this text. But let's say you actually wanted to have something that goes into the value of matched key when it doesn't find anything, which was the case in my subscriber's question. We have to actually add a couple more lines of code just to, uh, just to um, account for the situation. So it's really easy to do if you work with variables. 
So we can create a variable and we'll call this result. And we will set that equal to this concatenate x function. So basically the result of the concatenate x is stored in the result variable. And we just need a return and we'll have another if statement. So if result does not equal blank, then we will return result. Else we're gonna return whatever we want. So not found, we'll say something like that. And we close it off and we get some functionality like this. So if it finds one of our keys in the text, it'll return that key. If it doesn't find any of those keys, it'll return not found. And if it finds a couple of those keys, it's gonna return a concatenation of those two keys. So if that's not what you want, you can alter that to return whatever it is you really want. So I was trying to find something that showed um, basically how to search text within text from another table. I couldn't find anything that really laid it out. So I want to make a video on that. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next DAX or Power BI video.